If you like watching movies then you've most likely heard that Blu-ray discs are the best way to experience a 4K movie because it's an uncompressed source. But streaming technology is getting better every day and when you think about it, movies are often released on streaming sources like iTunes way before they're released on 4K Blu-ray discs. So the question today is, is there really a difference in picture quality and if so, just how much is there? Stick around. Perfect. Hey guys, it's the Villa Man here, home theater enthusiast and all around tech lover. And on this channel, we bring you the tech of entertainment. So we do unboxings, demos, comparisons like this one, tips and real world reviews of the tech that entertains you so you can find the best devices and get the most out of them. So if you're into that, then hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride. So since I have the Sony X950G 4K HDR TV in for review, and I also own the Sony UBP X800 Mark II 4K Blu-ray player, and I also have the Apple TV 4K, and all of these devices support both HDR10 and Dolby Vision, I figured it would be a very good chance to compare the picture quality of Dolby Vision movies on the Apple TV 4K and a 4K Blu-ray disc. Now both devices are connected to the TV using the same receiver, the Denon X4500H. And what this will be is a direct comparison of the picture quality of 4K HDR movies, all of which supports Dolby Vision. So those movies are Ready Player One, Godzilla the King of Monsters, and Alita Battle Angel. Now this video will be in 4K HDR, so you can watch it in HDR on your newer iPhone or Android devices or your 4K HDR TVs. And the first thing I'll be doing is playing the exact same clip from both sources. So I want you to see if you can identify which is which. All right, let's get to it. Both clips are labeled device A and device B, and each device has its own backlight color. So click on the link at the top right of your screen to take the poll and see if you can identify which is which. Is device A the streaming or the Blu-ray device? And now here they are side by side. I hope you've taken the poll already because device A is iTunes movies being streamed on the Apple TV 4K, while device B is the Sony Blu-ray player. Next up, we have a clip from Ready Player One, and in this freeze frame, you can see where there is some motion artifacting in the shadows on the streaming source, which isn't present on the Blu-ray disc. In this other freeze frame, we can see where the Apple TV 4K doesn't have quite as much detail as the disc version. That's really negligible though, and you can only see it by pixel peeping like we're doing now. Another difference you'll notice between the two sources is a difference in contrast and the detail that's in the shadows and the highlights, what we call dynamic range. Again, this is not a huge difference and most likely something you couldn't identify by watching either source individually, but it's something that jumps out in this direct comparison. In this clip of Mission Impossible Fallout, I wanted to compare the fine detail in the trees as well as the rendition of skin tones in the clip. But as you can see, there was no noticeable difference. Let me know in the comments if you spotted a difference between them. In this intro clip of Godzilla King of Monsters, then we can see the difference in the dynamic range of both. 
there's more detail in the shadows in the disc version than the streaming version. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the shadow detail between the two sources. There was of course no special processing enabled on the Sony Blu-ray player. So I think no matter what your preconceptions were, you were surprised by this video. There are some differences as we saw, but streaming on the Apple TV 4K from iTunes in Dolby Vision is not that different from watching on a 4K Blu-ray disc. At least as far as the picture is concerned. I did an audio comparison a few months back. You can check that out in the link up there. And spoiler alert on that video, the audio, because it's so compressed, isn't as good as the 4K disc. That's the thing, compression algorithms are getting better each day, and so are connection speeds. So that's more bandwidth that streaming providers have to send the information to you. But therein lies the problem. It relies on your connection speed and your network. I've had instances where even though I have a pretty fast connection, the video actually still degrades to a less than HD quality. And something like that would not happen when watching a 4K Blu-ray disc, but that's one of the prices you pay for the convenience of streaming. Now the Apple TV starts at 179 while the Sony UBP X800 Mark II starts at 249 so the Apple TV can play apps and all these other games and what have you while the 4K Blu-ray player can only play discs and the three built-in apps that it has. 4K Blu-ray players also offer more customizations as far as the picture output is concerned. Some of them you can actually choose whether you're watching on a TV or a projector and it alters the picture accordingly. Some of them offer custom tone mapping for the device that you're watching on, while others have special analog audio outputs for legacy sound systems. Personally, I like and use both. I like the convenience of the Apple TV where I have my entire library at my fingertips and I just have to scroll to a movie and select it to play it. While on the flip side, I like the uncompromised audio and video quality on the 4K Blu-ray disc. And even though the streaming versions of movies are available days before they're available on discs, if you wait and get the disc, then you also get the downloadable code where you can actually get the streaming version for free. So it's kind of a win-win if you can wait those few days. So that's generally what I do because then you can get both, right? What do you do? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comparison and if it has changed your mind in any way. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video and if you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe. Also, if you like any of the t-shirts that you've seen me wear in the videos, then make sure to check it out in the merch store because they are all original designs and not only does buying them help the channel, but it also helps my ego to know that you're out there wearing a t-shirt that I designed. Make sure to stick around for more videos on the Sony X950G 4K HDR TV and all the other reviews I have in the pipeline. Thanks for watching and until next time, this has been your friend and neighborhood villa man saying, peace.